Hey, hey, hey! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna Stashkina, and on this channel, I teach cake artists how to create modern cake designs and life like flowers using wafer paper. But sometimes, you know, when you're making an arrangement, you need something to use as a filler flower or maybe filler foliage because if we are going to put our flowers together without any greenery, any branches, or something, it's going to look boring and flat, in my opinion opinion. So in this tutorial I decided to show you three different ways how you can reuse your wafer paper scraps and create three different types of filler flower foliage you can use for your arrangement. So first of all we are going to make this leaves and branches. Second of all I'm going to show you how to make this billy ball and third and probably my favorite I'm going to show you how to make these berries and that's what we are going to do today. Let's get started! I don't know about you but I always have this uh, odd pieces of floral wire and pieces of wafer paper especially when I make leaves or foliage so today I'm going to show you my favorite way to create an accent piece is to make a branch to do that I'll start with my wafer paper this is airbrushed in a forest green and I'm going to use it to make leaves and to put my leaves on the wire I'm going to use a few pieces of this 26 gauge wire. So I'll start with my wafer paper leaves and I think I'm going to cut them in a smaller shape. So what I do when I'm working with pieces like this is I usually cut rectangular and then I cut a leaf shape. But you can use your leaves and make them any shape and size you wanted to. And now to shape my leaves, I'm going to take my acetonic wafer paper conditioner. You can download this on my website or you can use water for this application, it doesn't matter. But I wanted to shape these leaves a little bit and I wanted to put them on a wire. So I'm going to pick up a little bit of moisture and gently paint on my wafer paper leaf because then it becomes flexible. I can take a piece of floral wire maybe like this and I'm going to pinch my leaf around my floral wire then I'm going to make it flat and just give it a little bit of movement so this is going to be my leaf number one I'll set it aside to dry and I'll do again with other leaves my goal here is to attach my wire to my leaf and give it a little bit of movement I have a few leaves I'm going to leave them to dry and now is the fun part I'm going to take my floral tape this is in brown color I'm going to fold it on itself a few times and twist it to create like a knot or some textural element like this you can see and I'm going to have a piece of floral tape so I can use it when attaching to my flowers I'll take my brown floral tape again, stretch it, and I'm going to take a few pieces of my floral wire, especially the one I'm not going to use for anything else, like these tiny ones, and I'm going to tape it. So you can see it takes no time and no preparation, but you will be able to reuse a lot of your scrap pieces for your wire, wafer, paper. Okay, and I think that this is going to be my main branch because this is the longest piece I have. And I'll take another piece of floral tape and I'll bring my leaves here and I'll start assembling everything together. So the goal here is to have dimension and to create branches in different shapes. I'll start with another piece of wire covered in floral tape. Then I add one of these knots here and tape them together so this is my first branch another piece of floral tape i'm stretching this piece now i'll take this part and maybe start taping to this part here so now i have two pieces and i can start taping a leaf here at the bottom so now i have a branch with a leaf like this and I'm going to start taping my larger branch I'll take probably 
another nod here. Then I'll take a smaller branch on the side here. Then maybe a leaf. So now you can see I'm just assembling my parts and putting everything together. Now I have all my wires together and what I need to do is to flex them and give them movement and more dimension. So if I need to put it on an arrangement and use as my accent, I can do that. Now to reuse my scraps of paper, paper, I wanted to make a billy ball, which is yellow, textural and very interesting element. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to create a circular shape, like a ball. This is styrofoam, but this is the shape I'm going for, something like this, but made out of paper. paper. To do that, I'm going to take my steamer. You can use a mini sprayer or you can use a brush and just apply uh, water on your wafer paper with the brush. It depends on your humidity. For me, for me, this method is just the easiest. So you can see I'm going to steam my wafer paper very lightly, but until it almost starts to melt and becomes very flexible. Now I'm going to bring everything inwards and create round ball shape. But this is not enough thickness, so I'm going to continue doing this by steaming my wafer paper on both sides and applying more layers on my wafer paper center for my flower. And maybe a few more layers. And you can see how easy and quick I got my shape. And I'm going to take 18 gauge wire for my billy ball. And what I need to do is I need to use a touch of wafer paper glue here and insert this inside my billy ball, making sure it still stays in the same shape. And I'm going to set it aside to dry. And now my wafer paper is dry. It is absolutely dry and very lightweight and it is about two centimeters in diameter i would say so a little bit less than an inch to make my texture for a billy ball i'm going to use a coffee grinder take my scraps of wafer paper and grind this to a powder now that i have my powder I wanted to add color and for a billy ball I'm going to use this yellow petal dust so this is the color I'm going to use and simply what I need is to add a little bit into my coffee grinder and mix it together again this is not bright enough so I'm going to add more of this powder and grind this again so this is the color for my billy ball. I'm going to transfer this powder into a container. And now all I need is to apply a thin layer of piping gel like this. And my wafer paper is already dry. So I'm not worrying about me shaping this or introducing any moisture. And then I'm going to attach wafer paper texture to make my billy ball accent piece so you can see how fluffy and textural it gets so for my petal dust for my billy balls i think i'm going to take a touch of this champagne color because i wanted to create like a shade and not to look at as flat yellow as it is right now and maybe just a touch of chocolate and i'm going to gently touch it on the side to highlight the texture and to make it look even more interesting and dimensional so just a few applications of petal dust and everything is made out of wafer paper so i think it's very fun to make and to tape my stem i'm going to use light green floral tape as usual i'm going to stretch it and apply to my decorations like this and these decorations are very great to serve as your accent dimensional 
decor for your arrangements. And now one is the easiest decor, I think, but most um, impressive is to make a berry. To make my berries, I'm going to use these Haribo berries as my base. But out of the package, you can see they look flat on the bottom and not so fancy. So to change that, what you can do is you can microwave these berries for maybe 10 seconds. And you can see it is much softer and easier to shape. Just be careful because it might be hot. But what you can do is gently move it around and reshape it a little bit to make it not so straight line. While it's still soft and sticky, I'm going to insert a piece of wire here and I will set it aside for maybe 10-15 minutes to cool down and harden so we can continue working on these berries. Now that I have my berry dry and it's completely cooled down, I wanted to add a few accents by dusting this berry in different colors. So I'll take my petal dust and I think I'm going to use this forget me not to bring a little bit more attention and make it brighter and maybe this Aurora Rose because I don't want my berry to look flat. So I'll start with this forget me not and I'm going to dust it relatively heavy so you can see brings all these textures onto my berry and on the other side i'll take a touch of this pink and i'm going to dust this with pink color but a little bit lighter application so my berry would have dimension and differences in color and now to make it shiny again I'm going to use confectioner's glaze. You can use a spray glaze, you can even use a piping gel, but make sure you will leave it to dry for a certain period of time because piping gel will stay sticky for longer. And I'm going to take my confectioner's glaze and paint on my berry. You can see it brings all the shine back and makes it look very fancy. So I will set it aside to dry while I'm working on other decorations. And to decorate these beers, I would need a few pieces of paper, paper in different colors. I'll start with my ivory gel. And this is just straight ivory gel from a bottle. And I'm going to take a brush and paint on my wafer paper with straight gel color because I need this color to be for my accent for my berries and i will need to paint on both sides and i will set it aside to dry for a second and i'm going to do the same to color my wafer paper in green color i'm going to use this green to make my calyx so i know that i don't need a lot and i will set it aside to dry while i'm decorating my berries now that I have my wafer paper almost dry, to prevent it from sticking, I can use a touch of cornstarch just to make sure that my tools are not going to stick. I'll start with making my calyx and you can either use a template or I'm going to use a craft punch because I find it is just easier to use a craft punch, five pedal craft punch to make a calyx. So here's my one piece. And I'm going to take my Dresden tool to shape it outwards, like this. So this is going to be the calyx for my berries. And if you want your calyx to be sharper, just pinch here on these parts. So my calyx is ready and this ivory part I'm going to use is my dry pieces for my berry. So I'm going to cut very thin stripes of wafer paper, as thin as you can get. Because I, I think that's the secret and that's the reason to make it look realistic is to make everything as thin as possible. Like that. 
And now I have my berry, I have my yellow parts and I have my calyx. I'm ready to assemble and put everything together. So to do that, I'm going to take my V4 paper glue. I'll start with my yellow parts. I know it looks strange, but at the end, I promise it's going to look amazing. I'm going to touch my yellow ivory pieces with V4 paper glue and bring everything together like that. So I'm almost like making a mini nest out of wafer paper, like this. I'm going to take wafer paper glue to both sides and then insert my wire from my berry through this nest of wafer paper pieces. See, I told you it's coming together. Now I have my berry sitting on my nest of wafer paper. And I'll do the same for my calyx. So I'm going to take my paper paper glue and apply it to the back side of my calyx and put it through like this to sandwich everything together. And now I have my berry in almost no time. The only one thing I wanted to do is to tape my stem with brown floral tape because this is the color I like for my berry stems. So I'm going to press it together, bring it up and tape it down. And now you have it. And thank you so much for watching. Now you have three more different types of filler foliage or accents for your arrangement. I hope you like this tutorial and please share with your friends because I think it's a clever way to reuse your wafer paper scraps and to make your flower arrangement even more interesting. And I'll see you in the next video on this channel. My name is Anna Stashkina. Bye-bye.